Hello everyone, myself Ripit Raj. So my mini project topic is fan base a swapping website. A fan base a swapping website means a swapping website which is made from the PHP are using the Jam server and the Google Chrome. Nowadays, a computer plays an important role in our daily life. Anything which we want to get only in one mouse click, speed, reliability, and accuracy of the computer make its make a powerful tool for the different purpose. A very important and the basic need of the today's modern business world is to keep quick availability and processing of information using computer. One can easily get the type of the required information with a fraction of second. The project that I have taken and also in this category, which is used in our daily life, whenever we want to purchase some items, we can easily get them at our home. The standard shopping website is developed accordingly the current need in different fields. This is fanware shopping website which provides facility for the purchasing the many items. So it by using the online shopping portals, users which want to purchase some products will first register an account on this portal and then log in through this username and the password and then can select the items which they want to the purchase and then also cards and finally checkouts the all payment details. So, so now I going to explain the content which is very useful in our slides the first one which is title slide the second one which is the content the third one which is the architecture the fourth page number which is the working the fifth the hardware specification the software specification and the in seventh uh, serial number i put the whole screenshot of the my implementation of the projects then eighth i read the limitations and at last i read the conclusion what is the conclusion of my project so here you can see the architecture in architecture there is three main things which is view controller and the rest api that it is divided into three layers which is presentation layer the logic layer and the whole data layer which is data layer which is concluded in the storing of the data in the database or the third party which uses my php websites now the whole working of the my database and the php website is the is connected to the sessions logins the account data and the remote users now i read the hardware specification which i excluded in my project the first one which is the processor of the my laptop which is the i3 and the hard disk ram which is the 1 tb the memory which is 4 gb ram and for the monitor when their software specification of the my project i use the three main things the jam server the php my admin and the google chrome here you can see the php my admin page where the many store the admins the brands the card the categories and the orders the products then the user info here you can also see the uh, admin page where i can uh, put the many insert options search option the browse options and also the drop options now i am going to explain the admin page i put the admin name here also the email the, the name the id and also the password which we have put to open my website. Here you can see the tool by which we are used for the changing my coding. Here also you can see the database PHP. At next, I am going to see the index page where I can also see the title, the requiring field, the doc type, the class, the container, the, where I can use the whole things. At next, you can see my the page, the admin login page of the my website. Here you can put the email address and the password which I put in my database backend where I click on submit then I go to the my website. Here is my the first front page of my website. Here you can see the fan base, the name of my website which is transmitted into local host and the home page and also the project. Here, here is the search option where you can search anything. Here you can see the category, the first one which is the main jersey. Second one, the case jersey, the bat, the ball, and the wicket. There are also the very many types of brand where you can buy from the my website is Kashmiri Velo, Nike, Puma, MRF, and also the ball brands, the Kukabura. Here you can also see the jersey which I put it on my website, the track suits and the gloves. All these things you can buy easily from my websites. There is also the, the cart where you can pay from the online, the PayPal websites. Which when you click on the cards, there is uh, the information is added to the cards. Here you can see that the price of the uh, balls and the uh, Nike bats. 
now that I explained the front end technology, I use the three things, the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML means hypertext markup language used to create and save web document. The CSS means the cascading style kits, which create attractive layout and our effective design. The JavaScript, which is the programming language, is also commonly used for the web browser. Here is also, you can see the login, which then there you can register and run a database query where I match the given username and password to the data. And it is already existed in the database. Here you can also see in the limitations, it requires the active internet connection, the size of the database increases, you know, the day by day increases the load on the database backup and the data maintenance activity. Here is the whole conclusion of my PHP website. So nowadays the PHP is a great tool for the directing dynamic web pages. Non-technical technical users can easily learn a few handy tricks to make their web pages easier to manage and more useful because its syntax resembles more C-like language and computer science student is able to learn it very quickly. So here is my references, which I use in my project, w3school.org, the keeps PHP MySQL books, the rocks press. That's all from the my site and thank you.